lot of women involved in this line. Yeah, let's hear it. Um, anybody who's familiar with uh, my podcast knows that we tackle issues of diversity, and it's a, a central theme to what I talk about, and I'm, I'm happy to see that there's a line that has a lot of diverse faces and um, has a lot of women working in comics, but um, I think we've talked about this a little bit, that that wasn't necessarily the aim, that it was, you know, you know, what is it that you've said? It's you like... Know, you know, the aim of Young Animal is just to make the best books we can. Exactly. You know? And that was, to me, the most important... You know, there's three uh, women leads in the Young Animal books, arguably, if you, if you count Casey Brink, you know, and that... It wasn't really by design, it's just what happened. You yeah. know, Mother Panic was always going to be a woman because yeah. that's how, you know, she was conceived and things like that. And mm -hmm. um, it was important to Shelly and I to make sure all women were on the team of She the Changing Girl yeah. and have that be that. But, you know, I think that people deserve to have a choice and putting that choice out there without saying, like, you have to read this because X, Y, Z. Right. Um, I, I don't think we're saying to anybody that you know, well, you are super awesome if you read the Young Animal books, but, but we're not saying if you don't read them, you're a bad person. Right. Like, we're not, um, I don't think the books have an agenda. The books just want to be special and different and fun. And I think that was part of the goal of the Young Animal. And that's one of the things that I think is important in having comics be more diverse, is that it all has to have a great level of quality from every individual creator. And so by bringing together and giving chances to people who are incredibly talented, for them to reach a wider audience, the odds after that is established of other voices and more people of color and more uh, women writing comics coming into the business becomes a little bit of an easier transition. And certainly um, there is a, a very different um, percentage of comic professionals now, say, than there were 20 years ago that uh, there's a lot more women working in comics, there's a lot more people of color working in comics, and um, and I think comics have gotten better. You know, no, I think because have. of it. Yeah, 